Hello everyone, this is Patrick and today we will be looking at something a little different from my normal videos on this channel. What we are looking at is a 3D printed art statue. I believe that's the way it was listed on eBay and that's where I got this from. Now anyone interested in the person I bought it from, please uh Please let me know and I can provide that information for you. But before we get into this, as you know, when I receive something in the mail, I like to take a look at the packaging. It came in, how well it was uh, protected in the condition of the box and see how well that did during the shipping. So let's take a break and take a look at the box. This is the box that it came in. And these are the materials. Now, if you can see this, it's a bunch of different wrapping materials. And it was uh, inside of this bubble wrap. There's a couple of glad bags, various other wrapping material. Not the best packing job, but it did it. It did what it was supposed to do. It protected the statue. And as for the box not the uh, most dirty box but it also did what it was supposed to do it protected what was inside there was uh, no damage to the box or the item inside so that's what that looks like and let's take a break and we'll be back again next i want to take a look at the parts that came with this. Now, if you are familiar with 3D printing, you are way ahead of me because I know nothing about it, Jon Snow. But it came with these parts. There are one, two, three, there are four tendrils and one, three arms. There are two left arms Two of them are on the statue, and this is the third one. Now, I believe that that looks like a piece of rebar. Wait, I'm not in the camera. That looks like a piece of rebar, and this looks like a small tendril. And it looks like a couple of pieces broke off, but it doesn't look like anything major, so uh, I won't even sweat it. So, yeah, that's what we have now for the statue get you there you are now this is in one two three four five six pieces uh, with five pieces the legs are together then there's a torso two arms and the head and let's take a 360 look at this then we'll come back and look at get a little closer look at it Kind of wish he had his tongue sticking out. I, I know the tongue is more Venom's thing, but uh, it it looks good when the tongue is is sticking out. And let's stop it right there. Now I want to <laughs> I want to point out the obvious. And in case you hadn't noticed, there is some tape on this statue. Now the reason for that is because this is not this is not like the statues I've dealt with in the past, where it has a magnet and it just it uh, sticks in there and stays. These are not magnetized. And so if the tape wasn't there, the arms would fall off. And I'm not going to attach the tendrils because they would also fall off and probably make it too heavy to stand up. So I'm keeping it like this for now. And until right now, I'm not decided if I want to keep this statue or if I want to give it away in a contest. Because when I first pulled out the box and looked at it, 
I just, I did not like it, but it's grown on me a little bit. So until I decide whether I'm going to keep it or not, I'm not going to glue it together and I'm not going to paint it. As a matter of fact, my original intent was to get this and go through the whole process of uh, painting, painting it, of course, gluing it together. And then after uh, getting the thing completed, I was going to show what it looked like. And so, yeah, that was the original intent. And I'll, I'll think about that some more. Now, let's take a look, closer look at it. Now, this is made of resin. And I believe there are different types or different I guess mm, colors of resin. The, the base is a uh, dark gray, and as you can see, the body itself is uh, lighter gray, and it's, the head is a darker gray or maybe black. Now, the anatomy on this, the anatom okay, the anatomy is okay. I love it. However. I guess the word is, okay, proportion. That's the word I'm looking for. The proportions are off. They're not, this, the statue is not in proportion. And let me take a little spin and maybe we can get a better look at this. And it's hard to tell from here, but the legs are too long for the body. The the torso, it, the torso is a good size. And the head is too small for the torso. Now the arms are okay, but it's just something about those legs and that head. It just doesn't seem to match the, the body. Now I don't know, I don't understand the 3D printing process. I don't know if that's because of the file I don't know if that's the way it was printed uh, in the printer from the printer. Just don't know. But that kind of turns me off. And then speak of speaking of painting, if there are any 3D printing uh, people out there watching this, please give me some advice and some input on that. Um, I've watched several videos and there's this one guy, I really like his channel and I'll try to put a link below if I can remember it. Uh, but I'm trying to get all the input information I can on how to, the proper glue to use on this and the proper type of paint. And speaking of that, there's something else I need to point out on this statue that really bugs me. Don't know if you can see it, but right there. It looks like part of his thigh is missing. It's just so skinny. Now also any 3D printing people, if you have any advice on how I could uh, beef it up or add some, I don't know the right type of material you would use to, if I could add something to it to make it uh, bigger, make that thigh bigger, please let me know. All right, so Okay, yeah, we was taking a close look at this and let's spin around. Now, I may get more into these 3D printed statues. I'm not sure at this point. But I'm trying to do some new things in 2023. Keep my channel growing. And try to keep folks interested in what I'm doing. Alright, this is the second time I recorded this video. So I'm not going to make it too long. The first one was too long. So I don't want to do that again. And so that's it. If you're interested in this and you want to know where I got it, please uh, let me know in the comments and I'll send you the seller's information. 
And if you have any questions about it, please let me know. I'll try my best to answer them. If not, I'll refer you to the guy I was talking to, talking about before. Thanks a lot. Bye.